What just happened? I actually liked it. What? Yeah, uh, well, let's see. We were talking about pussy and how we both like to eat it. You know, only real men like to eat pussy. Yeah, definitely. And we started talking about colleges and football and dead-end jobs. Where did you say you were from? Fort Wayne. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I like Fort Wayne. Yeah? Great. Where are you from? Salinas. California. John Steinbeck. You related to him? No, he's... You liked it? I did. I, I can't remember. Did you say you have a girlfriend? Uh, had. Like, have had. Several, yeah. I have a girlfriend. And had a girlfriend. You? No, I... Well, I've had girlfriends. But I'm not really... How did this happen? Well, uh, you know, we were talking about the shape of things. You know, you started it. Look, dude, I told you. I'm not one to just randomly jerk off. No. Well, cripes, man, maybe you should start. <laughs> well, you didn't seem too opposed. Yeah, I told you, I liked it. I mean, I'm... a pretty open-minded guy, and you seem, you seem pretty cool. I thought, why not? I think someone slipped something in our drinks. Our water? What? We, <laughs> we were drinking water. You think somebody slipped something into our water? Coffee. I was drinking coffee. Are you, like, Christian? I mean, dude, I don't know one guy who doesn't jerk off. At least from time to time. Not one. Dude, we just met, and you're asking me all these intimate questions about... We just... I mean... I think I know you pretty damn well now. Probably better than most people in your life will ever know you. It wasn't like... We jerked each other off or sucked each other's dicks. We sealed the deal, man. <laughs> we, we made out with each other and stuck our tongues in each other's mouths and, you know, sealed the deal. Don't, we were really making out, like tongues and saliva and- All right, stop. Were... What, did you black the whole thing out already? No, it's just, I mean, Well, it's pretty much why I don't jerk off. You don't jerk off because... Because my reality is so far beyond anything in my wildest dreams, or in this case, nightmares that... You invited me up here. You were gonna show me... What were you gonna show me? I mean, what exactly was your intention? I was going to show you that website on, you know, the, you know, the size and shape of different and how our anatomy perfectly fits, you know, do you want to see it now? No, thanks. You liked it. Yes. Why do you keep asking me that? I liked it. I like it a lot. I mean, I did. You look good. You smell good. You feel good. Okay, enough. I would do it again. You would do it again? Yes, absolutely. With anyone? With you. I'd do it again with you. Why? Why me? Dude, we were down in that bar for hours, and you poured your heart out to me. 
I mean, you told me things that nobody's ever told me before. The intimate things. I mean, you, you were so real. I've, I felt good to be around you. Is that a freaking crime? No, but we're just not wired that way. I mean, either one of us. Well, you know, 13 or so minutes ago, I might have agreed with you. But right now, in this moment, I feel differently. But you, you're gonna stand there and tell me that you don't? I told you already. I mean, I haven't had it in a while, and I don't even jerk off. And I haven't had it in a while. I don't know, and you, you're just, you're very good looking. Very, very good looking. And you seem so, I don't know, normal. I am normal. You know what? So are you. Did you ever I don't know have It's never it, it actually has never even crossed my mind. Like never ever. When when my buddies back in high school used to get together to circle jerk, wasn't interested. Though probably could have won a couple of bets. Bets? Yeah, you know, volume, distance. <laughs> what? You're just so handsome. Look, I've never had sex with a guy before. I've never wanted to have sex with a guy before. But there's one thing that overrides all the rules for me. What's that? This. My heart? No, my heart. If it feels right in here, I do it. You know, no matter what. And before, it's just, it never felt right. But last night, for whatever reason, you were talking about your cat. And you told me how you would lie in your bed and just think of your cat, and he would show up and and crawl onto your chest. Um, and you didn't have to do anything but lie there. And he would start to purr. And you would start to get this feeling in your heart, like a swelling kind of feeling, just a, a, a huge, wonderfully expansive swelling feeling in your heart. And I was kind of feeling it just standing right next to you. And then you said your, your cat would start to purr louder and your heart would swell bigger and your cat would purr louder. And I thought, I think I'm feeling that exact feeling right now. And the next thing I knew, you were all over me. beautiful and, and amazing. You're beautiful and amazing. And it doesn't mean that you're gay. It doesn't mean that you're not straight. It just means that you're alive and awake. You know, what, what a glorious thing. It's a miracle. 
How lucky are we to have found each other and gotten to taste this? If even for a moment. Uh, dude, that's my shirt. This feels nice. Yeah, it does. Stay.